family, how you doing? How you doing out there? God's unchanging hand. Come on and help me sing it quiet. Oh, you. That's what we're talking about tonight, build your hope and things eternal. Come on, let's sing it. Mother Reese, you know that song. Sing it, everybody. Oh, who is it? God's unchanging hand. Tonight is Bible study night, so remember to take your Bibles out. Take your Bibles out, and we are getting ready to get into the Word. Tonight is Word Night. That's what I call Bible study night, you know? Do you know those old verses? Time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth, unmoved, can't stand. Come on. Not on earth, unmoved, can stand. Build your well, build your hopes on things. You better hold to God's chain. I like this verse. Trust in Him. Come on. Whatsoever years may bring, what so whatsoever years may bring. If my earthly friends forsake me, if my earthly friends forsake me, still praise God, praise God, family, praise God to all of you out there tonight. This has been a great night, I believe. It's already been and it will continue to be so i'm gonna ask you to call your friends and family and tell them to join us as we get ready for time of study in the world Praise God, praise God. There's not a better end, another end that you can hold on to, like the hand of Jesus Christ. That's the best hand. Jesus said, A none shall pluck you out of my hand. Come on, look at someone and say, I'm holding on. I'm not giving up and I'm not giving in. I'm holding on. Come on, I know my miracle's on the way and I'm holding on till it gets here. Soldier in the army of the Lord. Remember that old song? I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Let me tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run through some of them old songs. Mom, I'm looking at you. God, but I'm looking at you now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call you to help me a little bit. Some of them old holding the songs that that you, my 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 grandma used to get up every Sunday night and sing some of these songs. And and before you knew it, you know we. <laughs> you remember that? Home. You remember that? We couldn't go to parties. The only place we could dance was in the house of the Lord. Yeah, got my war clothes on. He consolated me. He's a great consolator. He's a great consolator. He's a great consolator. 
right, right, right. He's a great consulator. He has consulated me. He has counseled me, encouraged me. Come on, clap those hands. Come on. Welcome, welcome everyone to my Grace family and friends wherever you are tonight. We are just about time to get into the word and we are waiting and a couple more of our friends to join. Wherever you are tonight, please call somebody and tell them to join the Bible study with the bishop tonight. In case you didn't see a pastor or a bishop or somebody who you know normally on the live or you think they should be here please give them a call send a text out of them tell them that we are live on facebook and zoom on and youtube with the study in the world Good night, good night, family and friends. This is Bible study night. Amen. This is how we grow. This is how we get healthy. This is how we're able to fight against the wiles of the devil. When we study the word of the Lord. That's what's going to keep you. That's what's going to keep you going. Keep you excited. Praise God, praise God, praise God to all our friends and family, the Grace family tonight, wherever you are. We are just about starting, amen, this study in the word. It is a beautiful thought tonight that God have for all of us and we cannot afford to miss this hour. Remember them old songs? We don't sing these songs anymore. Why shouldn't we? We should. We should. Remember it? Are you singing or are you not? What are you doing? You listening? Come on, sing along too. Be satisfied along As I walk, let me walk close to me. Set just a chance. Oh, Bernice Beecher, watching us from Canada. How are you doing? Say so long. Granted, Jesus. This is Bible study night. Our friends and family from Canada, from the US, from England and the Caribbean. 
And wherever you're watching from tonight, just give God a praise. Give him some glory. Thank the Lord for this privilege, this platform that he has given to us, that we can come together as a family. We are family. Let God keep you close to his side. You stay by him. That's all what you need to do. That's all I want to do for the rest of my life. Just let it be. Good night, family and friends. It's Bible study night. You're going to study with me tonight. We're going to study together tonight. We're going to study together tonight. Please go ahead and share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link on Facebook. Share the link on Zoom. Share the link on YouTube if you can, please. These young people these days don't know these songs, you know. They're too young for it. But you know, some of them do know it. Some of them does sing it. Come on, young people, this is your time now to learn some of these old songs, you know. Where are my Grace family? Where are my Grace and family? Where are my Grace family? Pastor Shin Rose. <laughs> Shanice Rose says, Sir, I know those songs. You do? Praise God. Maybe you're much older than they age. Praise God. Tonight, tonight though, we are going to be study in the word and we are going to be talking about tonight the Lord just gave me a, a thought today and I, I meditate on it and I think I have something that I want to share on it God cares for me he cares for me he cares for me God cares for me so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. God cares for me. Come on, I am weak. Well, you know I am weak, but thou art strong. Especially in these last and trying days. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. And you know that I'll be satisfied. Just a closer walk with me. God cares for me. If you believe it, sing along with me as we get ready to study in the word. We're waiting about three more minutes. Be not dismayed forever, forever be time. Hallelujah. Of you. Whoever you are out there tonight, take, care of you. take this to the bank. Have that His confidence. Ways. His ways of love, of love, of love, of love abides. Oh, God will, He will, He will, He will take care. If you let it, he'll take care of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, God will, God will take care of you. Yeah. 
yes she will Oh, through every day Woo! If you let the Lord, he'll go all the way He, he will take care Whatever you're going through tonight, whatever is happening to you, whatever is going on in your life, you're going through financial storm, sickness, or any kind of situation, that will not give grace or justice to you. Just know that God will take care of you. God will heal you. Just know that God will heal you. Be not dismayed Whatever, whatever the time Whatever oh, happens, God will. I just want to talk to a mama out there tonight. Will, God will take care of you. I'm getting ready to He'll pray. I'm getting ready to pray. Then we're going straight way, into the word. Please, please call your friend and family and tell them it's Bible study night. God will, God will, He will, He will, He will take care. If you let Him, He'll take care of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But God will, God, God cares. will take care of you. Yes, He will. Oh, through every day. If you let the Lord, He'll go. Hallelujah. All, all, all the way. Somebody have this confidence. Have this hope. The Bible says, anyone who have this hope, purify himself. Take care. Get your heart right with God. You. Be encouraged, be encouraged. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Be encouraged, family. God will take care of you. Be encouraged. Father God, we come before you tonight on behalf of your children everywhere. Father God, we know that you are the caring father, the loving father, the one who cares and understands, the one who knows our weakness and even our strength. Some of us are broken tonight. Some of us are out of it tonight. But tonight, God, we just ask you to supply our ever needs as we sit back and study in the word. Father, we ask that you'll just Open our spirit for everything that you have. Bring us into purpose. Bring us into your reality. Help us to know, God, that all what is going on around us, that you will help us to champion the cause. You will help us to destroy everything that would want to kill our joy. Father, we ask right now that you'll take care of your people. Comfort your people everywhere. Bring sight to the blind. Speak a word of encouragement to the discouraged. Those who are tired, give rest. Through the comforting of your word. In our Lord's name we pray. God will. God will take care. Glory to God. Hold on on your faith, Take brothers and sisters. Hold on on your faith. Hold on on God. No matter what, don't I'm let go. Me. Don't let go. You 
this word for somebody tonight. I don't know who you are. don't know where you are. But this is your word tonight. This is your breakthrough moment. This is your breakthrough moment. Thank you for that scripture. And when I pass through the waters, it will be with thee. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow. When they walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Somebody got a hold of yourself tonight by get a hold on God. God will take care. We're going to put on the screen tonight our first scripture. St. Mark chapter number 4 reading from verse 35. Come on somebody. Your finances are taken care of. The rent is paid. The light and the water bills are paid. Your phone bill, your mortgages, money to send the children to school, money for food, money to repair your home, it has already been taken care of. The Lord says, I have already deal with your case. It's all good with God. I know for myself that he will. He will. He will take care. Oh yes, he will. He'll take care. I just feel like somebody's getting through right now. I come by here tonight to strengthen you. I come by here to encourage you. I didn't come here to upset you, to embarrass you, or to condemn you. I come to speak with you with good and comforting words. That's what I'm talking about tonight. That's good and comforting words. God, type in your comment section. God will take care of me. Yes. My God. That's amazing. It's amazing to see what God is doing for his people, especially in these last and trying days. So we're going into the scriptures tonight. We're going to hear what the Lord is saying to us. We're going to hear what the Lord is saying at this hour. Because the Lord is speaking. And I dare anybody to go against what he is saying. God told me to tell my people. He said, when you get on the Bible study tonight, tell my people that my promises are yes, are yea and amen. My, and that means my promises are true. I am not a man that I should lie. And whatever I say, it must come to pass. Because I am God. And I stand by my word. The grass wither it and the flower fail it, but my words stand forever. God will take care of me. God cares for me. He cares for me. Sometimes 
it may seem as if God does not care. And that's what I just want to encourage you tonight. You're not alone if you feel that way. There are moments in our lives, there are times in our lives as we go through life's pathway and as we go through our daily situation, our, our daily obstacles, problems and conditions of life that are so discomforting, especially when you want an immediate help, when you want somebody to be there for you, when you want to be heard, when you want to be seen, when you want to be noticed and it seems as though those who have the authority and the rights and the blessings to do so are not doing it. Sometimes if you're not careful, you'd want to believe that you're alone in this God world. But it's not so, my friend. God is with you. According to the book of Mark, chapter 35, and the Bible says, And the same day, when the eve was come, he said unto his disciple, Let's pass over on the other side. On the other side. When God gives you a command or a ministry or something to do, the devil hears, and the devil, because he knows, because he heard, because he hears what God says, he's going to attack you. He's going to try to embarrass you. He's going to try to meet you where your purpose is. He's going to try to meet you where your deliverance is. Have you ever noticed in life, a lot of time, just about the time when you are getting your deliverance, when, you're, when God is elevating you, when God is pushing you, that's the time when the devil shows up because he doesn't want you to meet or to finish your journey. He doesn't want you to meet your purpose. He doesn't want you to entertain your blessing. And so from time to time, he will try to block that. Verse 36 says, And when they had sent the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other ships. And when there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat upon the ship, so that it was now full. In other words, water came into the ship and the ship was full with water. It was filled with water, filled with trouble, filled with circumstances, filled with heartaches, filled with pain. Some of you tonight, you are in the boat sailing with Jesus. You are in the boat sailing with purpose and destiny. And it seems to me that troubles are everywhere. But I want you to know tonight that trouble Trouble don't last always. Trouble will not last. It will come to an end. The scripture says that even this too will pass. And 38 says, And he went in the inner part of the ship. That's Jesus. And he went into the inner part of the ship. My God. On a pillow. And, they, and when he went into the inner part of the ship, he fell asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said unto him, Master, carest not that we perish. So it's not only us who happen to say that. People, when they are going through their storms and when they need help, if they don't realize who they are in God. They will want to question God. The disciples, even though Christ was on the ship, they were concerned that, and they were concerned of them dying. And one of the things that they said, Lord, and they used the word master, carest thou that, that we perish? They were asking a question. And he arose and rebuked the wind. And said, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. That is to tell you that when Christ is working on your behalf, every turmoil situation, every turbulent, every, every situation, every turbulence, every arctic, every pain, every storm, 
every wind, every adversity, every kind of sickness, every kind of weather that is going against your desire. God have a way to quiet it, to command it to be, to be still. In other words, to stop it. Tonight, I want to say to every person out there who are having a, all kind of experience that are bad, that you cannot entertain, that you cannot embrace, all things are possible to those who believe. And if you believe God will calm your storm tonight, just know that he will. He cares. And the Bible says, And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is that? You have no faith. And that's what that's how Jesus approached us when he sees unbelief. Because where there is unbelief, faith is exempt. Faith is not there. In order for faith to work, you would have to rid yourself of unbelief. So Jesus realized that at this moment of the disciples' life, Though they were in his company, though they were a part of his team, and they should have known because of experience, because they have been with him. They saw how he turned water into wine. They saw how the crippled were made to walk, and the dumb ears were unstopped, and the blind eyes pop open. They saw it, but this was a moment when they forgot everything that they saw. Every miracle that they saw, they forget it because they were faced with a present, with a situation. And they thought that God was not so much with them. They thought that he didn't care. And that, that sound and looks like all of us on the live tonight. There, any one of us can raise our hand and say, you know, I have never done that. We have been to the place in our experience when we believe that it would appear as though God is not there. The same thing was happening to the disciples, even though Jesus was there physically. Jesus said, come on, why are you so fearful? Ho, ye of little faith. In other words, I realize that you have no faith. If they had faith, he would not have said, O oh, ye of little faith. It means that they were around him, but they didn't so much believe in him, even though they see his mighty work. Don't you know, can't you see, that there are those of us who are Christians, who are going to church, who are serving God, but we as the disciples have no faith. It's true. When, 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 when the turbulence hit, when the storm begins to rage, when the pressures of life are so overbearing, when the things that we desire, we are not, we, we, we don't see them coming through. We tend to want to have doubt. And the Lord says, in order for me to work for you and work with you, you have to rid yourself from the spirit of doubt. Tonight, I want you to write in your comment section, I rid myself from the spirit of doubt as we move on. The disciples were saying to Jesus, you don't care if we drowned. That's what they were saying. You don't care if we suffer. How could they ever say that? How could they ever believe that? That's what the enemy would want us to believe. Because God does not show up himself. And because God does not react to the situation the same way we wanted him to react or the same time. He does not come through. He does not show up the same moment. He does not do things for you the same moment. You were tense to want to believe that he's not there. This is how God approached that situation. Where is your faith? I ask you the question tonight. Where is your faith? What then is faith? Faith is simple. Believing that God is even though you don't see him physically working for you. You don't see him with your natural eyes. You can't feel him and you can't even hear him. But you know according to the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know by the word of God that God is working for you. That God is working through you. That God is working out his purpose in you for your own good. And so um, because he doesn't react. 
because it doesn't show up at the moment when you would have thought or wanted them to do so. Oftentimes, we say like the disciples, you don't care. We don't care. We thought or we believe that God doesn't care because he doesn't automatically show up. In other words, to you, it is not there. When the things are happening, when you're hungry, when you're tired, when you're discouraged, when you're in pressure, when the pressures of life hit you, when you don't have no money, when you don't have no food, when you don't have no family, when your friends all walk away and leave you, when things are not working, if you're not careful, because it happens, you said that, you know, God, if he was my God, he should have showed up and rescued me. But you know what? Jesus does care. You know what he's doing? He's waiting on you to initiate. He's waiting on you to invite him in your life. He's waiting on you to call him in. He's waiting on you to call upon him. Somebody out there tonight who are going, some, who are going through some storm. God wants you to initiate. God wants you to call upon him. The Bible says... Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be open. He's not that he doesn't care. He's not that he doesn't want to show up. But he wants you. He doesn't want to come into your experience. He doesn't want you to come into your life uninvited. God doesn't want to show up in your life uninvited. He wants to make sure that when you ask whatever is going to happen what you're going through in life that you invite him to share and to participate and to take part he doesn't want to come up and invade your privacy interfere with your business interfere with your personal life even though he's god yes he knows you're in need of his help yes he knows that you want his help but in order for him to do it for you he says ask Seek, knock. According to the book of St. Luke's chapter number 10, 38. 10, 38, 42. God is waiting on you. God is waiting on us to ask. If there's anybody in the life tonight who are going through some storms in your life. Luke 10, 38, 42. Anybody out there tonight who are going through some stuff in your life. Things are not changing. You're not seeing your way out. You're not seeing any miracles working in your life. And you may be saying to yourself, I am a Christian. Where is God in all of this? God asks me to say to you tonight, I am waiting on you to ask. And a lot of times we're waiting on the pastor to ask. The pastor have his own problem. The bishop have his own situation. He will have to ask. The, the, the good thing about God, he gives everybody a key to his house. Every individual have an access point to God. In other words, you don't have to come through me. I don't have to be your medium to God. I don't have to be your way to God. Jesus gives you the keys. You have the right, the Bible says, and now you can say, Habba, Father. So if people don't hear, you hear. If people don't know, you know. And a lot of people sometimes, when you want them to help you, they are not there. The Bible said it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha receiving into her house. Have you have you? Have you? Where is Jesus in your life? And he had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. And heard his word. Verse 40. But Martha was crumbling about serving. And it came to him and it and came to him and said, Does thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? 
Bid her therefore that she help me. Jesus answered and said, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and art troubled about many things. Thou art troubled about many things. But one thing is needed, and Mary had chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. My God, my God. Here was Martha. She was complaining. She was complaining how Mary had left her to do the work alone. She was complaining how Mary had left her to do the work alone. Sometimes in life, what people want you to do, that's not what you want to do. That's not what God wants you to do. And that's the reason why you got to know God for yourself. She was taking care of food, serving tables. But Mary had seen something in God that is more than serving tables. More than cooking food. More than complaining. While she was complaining about she need help. Mary was seeking to know God. He was seeking to have a re relationship with God. You have to be very careful in life that you don't allow people to cause you your relationship with God. They will allow you to be diverted. They will divert you. They will allow you to move away from your purpose. Martha had got to the point where she was feeling upset and she could not have taken it anymore. So she said, let me go to Jesus with it. So even though um, she, she, she thought that Mary was not doing justice to her, even though she thought that Mary should be there, she, she went straight to Jesus. So, so, so I see something in this story here. She went to Jesus. Martha went to Jesus and she said, I don't understand how Mary had left me with all the work. I don't understand how Mary had left me with all the work to sit by your feet. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, Martha. I like what Jesus said. Martha, as she began to crumble, as she began to complain, as she began to talk, Jesus said, Martha, Martha, thou art careful. And troubled about many things. The reason why things are not working out for you. It's because you're carrying too much baggage. Notice it was not only the little work that she was doing. There were many other stuff that she was thinking about. So Jesus said, you are troubled about many things. Many things. What are the things that are bothering you tonight? What are the things that are worrying you tonight? What are your concerns tonight? What are your problems tonight? Jesus said, let me address you properly. But one thing thou need. One thing. In other words, she was good enough to take her complaint to Jesus. She was good enough to take her complaint to Jesus. Because even though she's not going to get the answer what she thinks she needs to get. Jesus was not going to tell Mary, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to get up and go work. To get up and leave the ministry. Leave from my feet. He's not going to tell Mary, move away from me. He said to Mary, he said to Martha, Martha, Mary had chosen a better path, a good path. And it shall not be taken away from her. In other words, I will not allow her to leave my presence. I will not allow her to leave my company. She had chosen the better part. Mary, Martha might have thought that Jesus didn't care. Martha was overwhelmed with her situation. Jesus cared about Martha. And that's the reason why he told her the truth. He said, Martha, you are troubled. You have a lot of problems. But follow Mary's example. She had chosen the better part. 
and that shall not be taken away from her. And so, say this to say that tonight, there are many things in life, many things in life to block your vision. Many things in life to derail God's purpose in your life. Mundane things, food items, clothes, businesses, but you got to know where your strength is. You got to know where your reality is. You got to know where your power is. Jesus said, Martha, you have many troubles. You have many worries. And you have troubled with many things. But Martha has chosen the better. Mary has chosen the better part. And I will not take it away from her. In St. John 11, verse 17 to 20, verse 17, 27, 32. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus. And Lazarus, of course, was very sick. He was very sick. Very sick. And um, Mary, they went to find Jesus to come and save their brother from, their, from his illness. And Jesus did not show up the time when they wanted him to show up and they thought that he didn't care especially Martha, Martha thought that he didn't care because Jesus didn't show up right away Jesus did not show up right away she didn't care the reason why he didn't show up she just believed in herself that since he was their friend of the, he was a friend of the family that he should be there for them when they have their needs she thought that he being a friend of the family, the first time he heard of the illness, that he should have been there. My friend, that's how you and I think sometimes. Have you ever wondered, why am I going through this and God doesn't seem to care? Why am I going through this situation and nobody seems to understand? Why, God, why can't God send people in my life to bless me as he is blessing others? Why can't God help me right now to pay my bills? Why can't God open some doors for me? Why can't God do this? Why can't God do that? These are things that we always say. But I stop by to tell you, you don't have to worry about it. The Bible says he knows your pain. He's coming through for you. And Jesus came. And Jesus, you know that Lazarus was sick. But the Bible said... He did not show up before he died. Lazarus eventually died before he showed up. <sighs> Have you ever had a situation and it got worse, even though you've been prayed for? Even though you have been in, people have encouraged you? Even though people have helped you? Even though people have prayed for you? Instead of the problems are dealt with and done away with, it intense, the, fee, the heat is in the heat got so intensified. The problem seems to be getting so more than it has always been. Have you ever wondered why? Why did God delay my, my blessing? Why did Jesus not come through for me? Why did Jesus not show up? before Lazarus' death, before he died. And that, 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 that thought is a, a thought that we always, as believers, have. And sometimes we tend to, to believe and the enemy start to say, well, maybe because you didn't pray enough. Maybe because you didn't do enough fasting. Maybe because you didn't read the Bible enough. Maybe because you didn't go to church. Maybe because you didn't do this. Maybe because you didn't do that. And Satan kind of give you, make a lot of excuses and give you all kind of eight points and, you know, so has to bring doubt to you. And even allow you to start to blame yourself. Maybe, it's because, but sometimes it's God willfully allow these things to happen. God did it because he sees that if he allow this process to go through in your life, then one, it's going to help you. You're going to be a better person. You're going to be more God-centered. You're going to be more strong in your faith. And at the same time, the work of God will be manifest in your own eyes. 
So the reason why Jesus told them, the reason why I didn't show up, one, I am the resurrection and the life. Two, I didn't show up because me being not show up, my father's will will be accomplished. It is to show my father's glory. It is to show the authority that God has given to me on the earth. And in order for that authority to be shown, God have to use some human element. God have to allow some things to happen in the natural that that, that natural law cannot control. That natural law cannot help. That natural law cannot end up so as to perform a miracle so that the glory of God can be in effect upon the earth. So Jesus said it didn't happen so that God will get the glory. And so sometimes the reason why you are in your situation and it seems that your situation is not coming to an end. It's because God is getting some glory. Not that God is using you for a guinea pig. Not that God is using you, amen, for anything for his own purpose. He's using it so that you too can see the work, the mighty hand of God working on the earth. So thank God tonight for all the things that are happening in your life. Finally, as we go through, there are several things that God assist us with that god is with us through our situations of life one god will take care of our physical needs god promised to provide for us somebody give him praise type in your comment section god will take care of my physical needs say that again god will take care of my physical needs write that in your comment next section and mean every word of it god will take care of my physical need Ephesians uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 and I'm going to read this quickly for you but yes sir but my God shall supply my needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ God will supply your needs does anybody have a need out there tonight do you have a need out there tonight do you have a need out there tonight do you have a situation going on in your life do you have a hiccup in your life do you have a problem do you have a physical need god will supply your need but the bible says according to philippians 4 19 but my god shall supply my needs all my needs not just some all my needs according to his riches in glory now unto god our father be glory and honor amen that's verse 20 of ephesians 4 and verse 20 matthew 6 31 32 say therefore take no thoughts saying what shall i eat or what shall i drink wherewithal shall he be clothed wherewithal shall i be clothed Take no thought of these things. In other words, the Lord said to tell somebody tonight, don't worry about these things. I will take care of your physical needs. I will take care of your physical needs. Verse 32. Amen. Act, uh, Matthew 6, 31 and 32. Verse 32 says, For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father know you have need of all of these things. So Gentiles need food. Gentiles need clothes. Just as how we need clothes. Same with the unsaved need things. And the Lord said they need them. And your heavenly father, not your earthly father now, your heavenly father know that you are in need of all of these things. So the Lord promised to supply your needs. Whoever you are tonight out there, whatever is going on in your life, whatever is happening to you, God says, I will supply all your needs. The eyes of the Lord. Somebody give God a praise here. God will supply all your needs the same way God provides food for the animals amen God will not allow us to go without if God provide food for the animals he will not allow you to go without whoever you are tonight you're hungry you're thirsty you're, you're, you're naked God will not allow you to go out without not my God that I serve not my God that I serve you will not go without you will not go without Type in your comment section. I will not go without. I will not go without. I will not go without. Psalms 145 15 says, The eyes of all, the eyes of all wait upon thee 
and thou givest them their meat in due season. The Lord says, I will give you meat in due season. Meat in due season. Somebody, I prophesied to you that your meat is coming. Your meat is coming. Your meat is coming <clears throat> in due season. Hey, glory to God. And then the Bible says, Psalms 45, verse 16, Thou openest thine hand and satisfy thy desire of every living thing. God says, Thou openest thine hands and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Whoever you are tonight, God is circling your house. God is circling your life. God is bringing help for you. Oh, somebody, wherever you are tonight, I just want to wait your appetite and to be your encourager tonight to let you know that God is working on your and your situation God is working on your project Luke 12 24 says consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap neither have house to house is not bound not bound not barn for God and God feedeth them how much more are he better than the fowls of the year? In other words, God says, if I feed the raven, if I take care of the fowls of the year, how much better are you? Tonight, God said to tell the people that I cares. I care for you. I care for you. Oh, somebody, open your mic and begin to thank the Lord tonight. Those of you on Zoom, open your mic and begin to thank the Lord for being careful, for being the, your caregiver, for loving you so much that he cared for you. Go ahead and praise the Lord. Go ahead and praise the Lord. And Zoom, praise the Lord. And Facebook, type in something on Facebook. Talk about the caring of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, say it. Go ahead and say it. God care. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Let the devil hear it. Say it. Let the devil hear it. Say it and believe it. It is says that when you repeat something, it normally happens. Say it. God cares. My God, Robosha. Hallelujah. 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 God will take care. God will take care of you. Whoever you are. Be not dismayed. Somebody, somebody. Whatever. Whatever the time. Oh, God will. God will. God will take care. Of you, he'll take care of you. Be me, his wings, his wings of love, of love, of love, of love, of pain. Hallelujah! Oh, God will, what? God he will. will, he will, he will take care. If you let him, he'll take care of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And God will, God will take care of you. That's what I want to tell you tonight, that God will take care of you. When Jesus preached, Remember the crowd of 5,000 people. He multiplied your loaves of bread and two fish and fed over 5,000 people. Don't you know that God will multiply your bread? God will multiply your bread. God will multiply your fish. God is about to give somebody a miracle tonight. I don't know who you are, but you want a miracle. God told me to say this on the live, that somebody out there need a miracle right now. Somebody need a miracle. Type in your comment section. If that's you, type in your comment section. I need a miracle right now. 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 Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, when they messed themselves up and sin in the Garden of Eden, and they were naked, according to Genesis 9.3, God provided them clothes. Listen to this. Even Adam and Eve 
when they were so naked. God provided them clothes. God provided them clothes. Somebody give him a praise. The devil is a liar. Somebody's getting a miracle now and Satan wants you to want to stop that miracle for you. Somebody, somebody's getting a miracle to help with your house. I hear the Lord says, I'm giving somebody a miracle, some money miracle to help with your house. Some money miracle to help with your house. Come on and zoom. You got to write money miracle. You need some money to help with your house. God said, get ready for this. Get ready. Get ready for this. Get ready. Get ready. You're going to get some help with your house. Get some money to help with your house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Adam and Eve, when they got messed up, when they got messed up. You know what that Lord is saying here? That even when we get messed up, God still provides. Even when we got messed up, God still provides. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. How do many of you have got messed up? But God provide clothes for them. I don't know who you are tonight. I don't know who you are tonight. But I see the Lord saying, I am circling your house like a fish in an ocean. I'm circling your life. I am circling your life because I'm getting ready to give you a downpour of blessing. Money for my house. Write that in your comment section. Money for my house. If you're in Zoom, write that. If you're in Facebook, write that. We, you know, you and I are agreeing tonight. We are agreeing tonight. We are agreeing tonight. Oh, we are agreeing. Every day. We are agreeing tonight. If you love the Lord, he'll go. Oh, we are agreeing tonight. All the way. I hear the Lord says, what about the mortgages? What about the mortgage? What about the mortgage? What about the loan? What about the mortgage? What about the loan? What about the mortgage? What about the loan? What about the mortgage? What about the mortgage? What about the loan? What about the mortgage? I'll take care. I'll take care of it. Wow, wow, wow. Somebody lift your hand and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. And Zoom and Facebook, whatever you can do to praise the Lord. Go ahead and praise the Lord. If you have to send up some heart or open your mic, whatever you have to do to praise the Lord. The Lord said, tell my people to give me some praise. Oh, God will. God will. God you can if I were you, I'd hold my mic. If I were you, I'd start type and write and send up heart. I wouldn't just sit back there. My God, my God, my God, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go, but I'll finish this on Sunday night. But before I leave, let me leave you with one more. This is too much to finish in one night. I refuse to finish it tonight. God will take care of me. God. I want to say to my daughter, I want to say to my wife, Baby, God will take care of us. I want to say to, to my church family that God will take care of us. I want to say to the family of grace, ministries international, don't worry about the storm. Don't worry about the situation. I want to say to the people in Pope Maria right now that God will take care. That God, your business is God's business. Your business is God's business. Your business is God's business. Dismay. Be not dismay.
of you. Praise God, 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 praise God. Bless his holy name, bless his holy name, bless the name, bless the name of Jesus. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord, people of God. Worship your God, worship your God. Help is underway. Miracle is underway. Deliverance is underway. He gives us rest. God says, I'll help you by giving you rest, by giving you a peace of mind by giving you stability by encouraging you that what you're worrying about what you are upset about what is bothering you what is killing you what is allowing you not to be able to sleep at night what is allowing you not to be able to love and care for each other god said get ready i am giving you rest i'm giving you peace of mind according to saint matthew chapter 11 29 and 30 come unto me all ye that labor and are ever laden and i will give you rest god says i'll help you i'll bring you out of your storm i'll bring you out of depression i'll bring you out of your hurt i'll bring you out of your pain i'll bring you out of your sorrow i bring it of all those trying situations that are going on in your life right now be not dismayed i'll take care of you you are next in line for my help. Take my yoke, 29. Take my yoke, Matthew 28. 28, and now it's 29. Take my yoke and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. For I am a meek and lowly. And you shall find rest for your soul. Did we have the scripture up? And you shall find rest for your soul. Matthew 11 and verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God told me to tell somebody tonight, don't run away from this. Don't run away from what I'm about to give you tonight. I'm about to give you peace into your house. I'm about to give you rest. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside the still water. According to Psalms 23.2 Take your rest from the Lord tonight. Take help from God tonight. Whoever you are tonight, receive your miracle. Miracle is knocking at your door. Will you open your door? The Bible says, and he knocks at your door and said, can I come in? He want to come in tonight and give you that miracle. He want to come in tonight and pave that way for you. He want to come in tonight and set you free. Are you willing for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for God to set you free tonight? Are you ready for it? Whoever you are tonight, your health is fading you have situation that you're not you can't deal with god said i promise i'll take care of you my yoke is easy my burden is light i'll take care of you are you ready for be not i'm getting ready to pray whatever the tide God will. I'm getting ready to pray for somebody now. For every person with a need. For every person with a situation. For every person with a family problem. For every person with an issue. Whatever it is, I want you to write a prayer request tonight. Write it in the comment section and send it up here. Send it up here. Put it on the altar of sacrifice laid. Beneath. We're gonna pray. Beneath his wings. God will. Come on, family, don't go nowhere. Miracles are happening right now. Somebody's got a miracle, a miracle in the life right now. Somebody, pastor, right in your house, right in your house. 
I hear the Lord say, you need a miracle right in your house. It's happening right now. Right now, I'm prophesying to somebody that a miracle is about to take over your house. I know you will. Wherever you are, he will take care. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Are we ready for the miracle? Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Wait for this. Wait for this. For those who wait upon the Lord, He will renew their strength. Somebody's strengths are being renewed right now. Yes, He will. There's a wave. I see in the realm of the spirit a wave of miracle. I see in the realm of the spirit a wave of miracle like a cloud in your house. A cloud. It's moving from room to room. It's moving all over your house. It's like a cloud. The Lord said it's a cloud of miracle. It's a cloud of deliverance. God. Master, it is okay, Pastor. It is okay. Your business is taken care of. Everything what you ever desired that God to do for you. Hear what the Lord said to tell you tonight. I don't know who I'm talking to. He said, and my house shall be built. And no one can stop it. And my house shall be built. And no one can stop it. Pastor Arnold, you and the life. God said, I'm setting you up with a miracle. Something what you desire for many years. It's coming to pass even now. Miracle is that me? He will take He will take Get ready for your miracle. Mm, yeah. Somebody open the mic and shout hallelujah. Receive the word of the Lord tonight. Receive the word of God. Receive the word of God. Receive the word of God. Open your mic and shout hallelujah. Somebody open your mic and shout hallelujah. Glory to God. God said, if you ever release that hallelujah, if you ever release that hallelujah, I will release you into your purpose. Come on. Come on, go ahead and shout hallelujah. Good God, good God, good God, good God. Good God, good God, good God, good God. Good God, good God, good God. Good God, good God. Some, I, just, I just sense a lot of miracles happening right now. I just feel it in my spirit. I've, I've never seen anything like this. I've never heard anything like this. It's, it's more than what I can handle right now. I can sense miracles happening right now. Somebody's getting some help. Somebody's getting their breakthrough. Somebody's coming up. That pressure you've been under, that situation that over, overwhelm your life, you are coming out better and stronger. My God, God will take care of you. Get ready for prayer. Do I have all the prayer requests? Do I have all the prayer requests? I'll tell you what, I finished this on Sunday night. I don't want to weary your patient. I'm going to pray now. I'm going to pray. But I'm waiting on two, a couple more people to join the line. Join the queue. Join the queue, join the queue, join the queue. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Come on for your prayer. Come on for your deliverance, man. I hear the Lord say, man of God, I want you to pray a deliverance prayer for my people tonight. Yes, sir. I hear your God. I shall and I will pray a deliverance prayer for my people tonight. Come on, come on in for your deliverance prayer. Call your friend and family. Tell them that the man of God is about to pray a deliverance prayer. Tell them that the man of God is about to pray a deliverance prayer. And the need to log in, join in, agree with me. As we break the yoke and break the kingdom of darkness down and set the people of God free. 
Thank God. We need my God. Beneath his wings. My God, my God. Please. Please. If your children are around, if your children are around, gather them up. If they're not around, write the name on the comment section. Write the name. If they don't want you to write the name, write it down. If they're around, call them up now and hold hands together. Because we're going to tear the devil down. We're going to release our family. We're going to release our children. We're going to release our home. Provisions are going to be made. Breakthrough for people of God. Breakthrough for the family of God. Breakthrough for the household of faith. Breakthrough for your children. Breakthrough for your family. Whatever the enemy is doing tonight, we win. Through every, 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 every day. Yes, he will. If you can type on Facebook, go ahead and type. Yes, yes, yes. Just put them requests up. Put them requests up. Put them requests in. Put your requests in. Breakthrough prayer. The man of God is anointed by God to pray a breakthrough and a deliverance prayer tonight. I am anointed to pray a breakthrough and a deliverance prayer tonight. I shall believe God for your breakthrough. getting ready to pray i'm gonna pray are we ready to pray are we ready to pray are we ready to pray are we ready do i have your faith do i have your faith do i have your faith tonight come on grab your neighbor's hand grab your family's hand grab somebody's hand we're gonna pray we're gonna pray father i stretch my hand to you no other help i know no other help I know, God. If you pull yourself away from me, then where will I go? Lord God, I have no place to go. I have no one to go to. I have no one to talk to. You are my God. You are my lawyer. You are my doctor. You are my nurse. You are everything. What I would ever want you to be tonight, God. I present to you your children tonight, your children from everywhere. Your children are crying out to you. Your children are asking you, God, for help. Your children are begging you, God, to come by them. Your children are saying to you, God, come and abide with me. Come and help me. Tonight, God, help them. Help them right now. Help them in their home. Help them in their problem. Help them through their circumstances. Help them through their pain. Whatever it is, God. Lord, I rebuke every devourer. I rebuke every lion, every demons of hell, every dragon, every dis suspicious argument, every dark secret, every wicked spirit, every abomination of desolation. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
the son of the living God. Lord God, I ask that you'll come through for your people. Your people are groaning. Your people are mourning. Your people are saying to you, God, please, I'm begging you. We've been hating down here for a long time. We've been asking you for a more. Oh, yes, Lord. It's been a while, God. We've been waiting for this miracle. It's been a while, God. We've been waiting for your assistant. But the devil wants us to believe, God, that you're not there. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, Lord, you're not a man that you should love. You will never deceive us, oh God. You told us in your word that whatever we ask you for, you will do it for us. You told us in your word, God, that whatever you promise us, God, that your promises are true. Your promises are yea and amen. Tonight, God, I am asking you to visit the home of your people, every single one of your children who are watching and oh God those who don't have the ability to come and live but I'm begging you God as your servant to go to your home go to every room go into every corner crevice and corner every little area every little part of their family home god wherever there is depression wherever there's bad energy wherever there is problem wherever there is heartache wherever they're suffering i pray god that to remove this right now remove that yoke remove that burden remove that situation in the name of jesus Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. God, I beg of you tonight to come through for your people. God, I beg of you tonight to speak louder than word to your people. God, I beg of you tonight to rebuke the devourer for your people. God, I beg of you tonight to stand by your people. Lift up the hands that are hanging down, the knees that are bending, the knees that are feeble. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will never leave your people and notice speak to them oh God 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 revival in the house revival in the family revival in finances oh yes 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 i hear the lord's so revival in your finances revival in your finances revival in your health type in your comment section revival in my finances revival in my health revival in my health revival in my family revival in my home revival upon my children revival everywhere father i pray for revival everywhere let there be a sound of the abundance of rain let that mighty wind begin to blow let that wind begin to blow the wind of hope the wind of hope the wind of hope breathe upon your people life breathe upon your people abundance breathe upon your people provision breathe upon your people open doors breathe upon your people possibilities in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god woman of god receive your deliverance man of god receive your deliverance people of god hope in your heart for the mighty move of god father work your purpose for them right now work your purpose for them right now work on that business work on that plan work on their homes send help from left right and center bring new connection to your people open some doors to your people cause the rain of heaven to pour out upon your people cause the life of god to be breathed in, in the breath and in the mouth and in the nostril of your people in the name of jesus cause the wind of God. Cast the wind of God. Cast the wind of God. To blow. In the name of Jesus. You can God. You will deliver your people tonight. Somebody help me. Help me deliver me. Help me deliver you. Help me deliver her. Help me deliver him. Help me deliver the house of God. Help me deliver the people of God. Help me deliver the people of God. 
Help me deliver the people of God. Yes, I hear the Lord says you're in the delivery room. Yes, the baby's coming out. The baby's coming out. The baby's coming out. You're giving birth. You're giving birth to your miracle. You're giving birth to a substance. You're giving birth to, to righteousness. You're giving birth to mighty, mighty, mighty happenings. You're giving birth to the birth of a miracle, the birth of a ministry, the birth of a home, the birth of provision, the birth of satisfaction, the birth of open doors, the birth of possibility, the birth of fulfilling the master's plan for your life, the birth of coming through in all areas of your life. You're given birth because the help of God is available receive it now receive it now somebody write in your comment section I receive it type in your comment section I receive it in the name of Jesus I receive it in the name of Jesus somebody your body is healed right now cancer is gone diabetes is gone arthritis is gone it's gone it's gone no longer to be found your blood is cleansed your blood is cleansed your heart is beating right your pulse is beating your iron your sugar level is okay your blood pressure is okay god has already walked in and god has touched your body i hear the lord said a woman said who touched me a woman said who touched me god said i touch you god said i touch you people of god you have been touched by the mighty hand of god receive it now receive it now in jesus name somebody give god a praise give god a praise give god a praise give him a praise thank you god 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 i just want to spend a fucking couple of seconds with my hands raised wherever you are just raise your hand in the kingdom of god tonight wherever you are at home tonight just raise your hand and give god praise when you raise your hand you're saying i fully surrender just raise your hand to the lord raise your hand to the king of kings raise your hand to the glory and mighty hearts of God. Oh glory. It's happening now. It's happening. God will. Oh. It's happening now. It's happening now. If you let it he'll take care. It's happening now. God will. God will take care. It's done. It's done, my brothers and my sister. Oh, through every day. It's done. I love it. If you let the Lord here go. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. As we get off the year tonight, let me just remind those of you who are helping out with the those who got flooded out in Port Maria and those of you been helping out thank you very much for your kind support thank you Bishop Grant and the church from Spanish town along with the Grace Ministries International for your kind support thank you for all the beds that we have received today from Spanish town for the people over 25 bed and mattresses we have placed in Port Maria for the people thank Pastor Raquel and the church the brothers and the sisters the women and the men in port maria who have been cooking day in day out making meals and handing it out to the people thank you for your blanket thank you for your waters thank you for everything and for those of you who have contributed financially thank you for contributing for the the church in port maria that they have gone through a storm it has been very very bad and the people need help thank you for helping them thank you new for helping us so we could help them thank you very much and for those of you who have not helped as yet please go ahead and do the offering tonight whatever offering you have sow it online there are there are areas there are platforms online that you can sow your offering and we will get it straight to where we need it to go and uh for those of you who can help with the great work that pastor raquel Every day we've been providing food for the people and 
like I said, we've been giving them clothes and mattresses and you name it. Everything what they need, if we can afford to do it, we'll do it. But we're going to need you to be a part of it as we get ready. If God says, I like the word tonight, God cares. 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 I want to thank everybody for giving. Father, we thank you for the people who have given to the church, who have given online so we could give it back to the people in Spanish town, in, in Port Maria. Thank you, God. Bless their effort. Some of them have given their last. Tonight, God, continue to be a blessing to them. Praise God. If you haven't done so yet, please inbox me or call Pastor Raquel or anybody that is connected to the church in Pope Maria and tell them that you have something to give and how can we get it whatever it is food clothes or money mattress or anything what you have to give just call us and let us know you want to participate it doesn't matter how much it is and, and you know somebody have something and you want to give it and you say Lord this is all I have remember the widow's might when the man of God says bake me a cake first he meant every word of it he meant every word of it he meant every word of it. Bake me a cake first. Bake me a cake first. I don't want you, I know you want to go eat it for yourself, but bake the cake first for the house of our God. Watch God working out for you. Tonight I'm so grateful for you. I'm so happy that you hung on, hung on here. You linger on, you stay on with us to hear what God have to say. Like I said, if you want to help, inbox us or go online if you're overseas or even in Jamaica go online and make your donation for Pope Maria thank the there's a lot of our members that got flooded out and like I told you last night what we're doing is not only for the church you don't have to be saved you don't have to be a Christian you don't have to be a part of the grace family for us to help you as long as you have a need you're qualified for the help as long as you're one of those who got flooded out, flooded out, you're qualified for food, you're qualified for the bed, you're qualified for anything that we have to give out. You don't have to be a Christian, you don't have to come to our church, we don't even have to know you. As long as you have a genuine need, and if we have it in the house, we ask no question, we give it to you. Because a need is a need. That's why I love the ministry of Jesus. When he feed the 5,000 people, he did never ask the crowd, how many of you in the crowd believe in me? How many of you in the crowd are part of my disciples training ministry? No, he fed them all. And if that's what we're going to do in Valley, in grace ministry, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to ask some question. We're not going to ask nobody to sign no paper. We're not going to ask nobody. We're not even going to interview you. We're just going to know that you have a need. We're going to help to supply that need as long as the needs, the provisions are, prov are there, we will supply it. So thank you very much for helping us out. Please go online and make your contribution. Uh-huh, please go online. If you, there's some link, there's a Zelle link, there's a Cash App link. There is all kind of link there. I'm not gonna explain it to you. It's right before you, it's right before you. I want you to big it up for me, my friend. My, 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 those, those who are working with me. Uh, I want you to big up those, um, bold it up or bring up the screen so the people can see it better. The people can see it better. See it better. So if they had to make a contribution, they can make a contribution. Please. Yes, bring up the screen a lot better. Yes. Please, please, thank you. Thank you. We are out of time. We are out of time. And I'm going to send you out with Miss Rita Franklin telling you that God will take care of you. Love your family. Thank you for your support. Thank you for... Thank you, Spanish Town. Thank you for Grace Family. Thank you, everybody. 
Thank you for supporting. Thank you, pastors, for calling Pastor Raquel and tell her that you are supporting her. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Grace family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my family. Thank you. I can't say enough thank you. Thank you. We thank you from my heart to your heart, from my family to your family, from my family to your church, from my family to your family. We thank you. We are grateful for you. You are everything what any pastor, any bishop would ever ask for. You are a part of what God is doing in this hour. Thank you for making the ministry what it ought to be. Listen to Aretha Franklin. Listen to Miss Aretha as we get over. Beneath Beneath his wings My God God. God will God will take care He'll take care of you I know you will I don't know if my wife is on the line Can we look and, and zoom if she's there? She's on the Zoom. Can you open your mic up? Zoom. Through every, 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 every day. Yes, you will. Anyway. As a family, we just want to thank everybody for being there for us. We want to thank everybody for being there for us. Can you turn my screen to the Zoom, my son? Take care. Oh, yes, you will. You'll take care As we go tonight, what a blessing. God will take, care. take care of yourself. I know that take care of yourself. Right on, people of God. Ooh. Every Ever one of you have been affected by the storm. You are at a good place with your God. Yes, thank you for great Grace Family. I love, I like when you say that. I like that. Thank Grace Family. It was a good night. Send up some heart as we go. Send up some hearts as we through go. Through every, through every day. Oh, yes, he will. He'll take care of you. Oh, 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 I know for myself that he will. Send some love, send, send out some love, send out some love, send up some hearts. I like, I like, like to see you make some hearts, send some hearts, send some love.
my God, my God, God will take care of you as we send up some heart and get ready to log off tonight. Any moment now, we're going to be going, but in the meantime, just do your heart thing. <laughs> I love to see the hearts up there. They're beautiful. Love to see the hearts. They're beautiful. As we get ready to log off tonight. The Bible says how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in a unit. That's the unity of the saints. God bless you. Take care. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Oh, God will. Oh, yes, he will. God will, God will take care. Oh, yes, he will. Of you. He'll take care of you. Be me. His ways. His ways of love. Of love, of love, of love, of pain. Oh, <laughs> God will. God will. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so secure, so sheltered, so protected. Take care of you. Yes, you will. Oh, through every day. If you love the Lord, He'll go. All the way He He will Take care Of you Yes God Will Take care Of you that's so beautiful. God bless you. God bless you. God. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight as we get ready to leave this platform. This platform, rather. We ask God that you bless your people. And we know that miracles have already been wrought. And so we ask that for those who haven't gotten a miracle as yet. Let the miracle come through. Let it happen now. Even as we go off here tonight, God. Let the miracle work. Let it work. Let it happen now. And I speak miracle in Jesus' name. Oh, God will. Just a minute more. Just a minute more. Take care. Good night, family and friends. Love you with the love of the Lord. Take care of you. Yes, He will. Oh, through every day. If you love the Lord, He'll go. Oh.